Hi, and welcome back to Bloxy. Today, we'd like to take the time to check out the starter site importer process and how to troubleshoot it. To make sure the process runs smoothly, you'll need to meet a few system requirements. Follow along closely as this video is packed with important information. Let's begin. We start off with a blank canvas with just a basic Bloxy theme installation. Navigate to the dashboard and then click on Bloxy. Choose Starter Sites and then make your pick. The installation wizard will first ask you if you want to install the Bloxy Child theme, if it isn't detected as being installed already. It is recommended to do so as it will make advanced modifications much easier down the road without modifying the parent theme. Next up, in case you've selected the site that's been created for multiple page builders, you'll be asked to choose your favorite page editor. In our case, we will go with Gutenberg. The required plugin screen is up next and here's where you'll be able to select which ones to install with the demo starter site. It is recommended to keep all of these checked to ensure you get the exact results as on our website. And of course, the final part lets you import just parts of the demo site, a choice that will let you decide upon. Click on install and away we go. You'll notice we have built a nice progress indicator that lets you take note of how the progress of importing is going. The website's import process seems to be stuck. What gives? Remember that we first talked about meeting some minimum requirements for the importer process to work flawlessly. In most cases, the importer gets stuck at the 42% mark due to the PHP service configuration on your server and you might need to increase the time allowed for PHP scripts to be executed. This is completely expected behavior when you combine a server that's on the slower end of the spectrum with a very low time limit for executing PHP scripts. You can verify those settings by going to the Tools, Site Health section, choose Info up top and select the Server section. Here we can see both the PHP time limit and max input time values. These values need to be set to around 200 seconds to ensure that the importer scripts have enough time to execute themselves. Contacting your hosting provider and asking them to increase both of these values should do the trick for you. As per our demonstration case here, we will need to modify the php.ini file from our locally configured web server. After we've done with the modifications, it's time to restart the server so that the new values are propagated correctly. And let's check out the site health screen. Perfect. The new values are applied. Right, so let's go back and try to import the demo site once again. And hey presto, our starter site has now imported successfully and we're ready to start building on top of it. We hope that this video has helped clear up how to troubleshoot the starter site import process. And if you seem to find yourself stuck with the importer, just follow the tutorial and you should be good to go. As usual though, if you have any questions, a suggestion, or you simply want to share something, feel free to drop by creativethemes.com. We'll be more than happy to guide you through. Until next time, take care.